Hi, you've got Nick Berry here from Seed Terminator. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, smooth feed inlet of the Seed Terminator mills. So as you can see, we're, we're at here at the back of the harvester sieve. It's the top sieve here, and we have chaff material that bounces along the sieve. And then we have this separator baffle here, which separates the chaff out and ensures that straw material doesn't go in. So we only have chaff material falling down into the seed terminator. The important thing here is that it's all about balancing the airflow. We have a nice big gap here between the back of the rotor and the, the baffle. And the idea is that that enables the air to balance above and below the baffle. And one of the, the features of the seed terminator is its high airflow capacity. So the suction from these mills actually draws enough air that the sieve air doesn't really go over the top of the baffle and that ensures a maximum capture of weed seeds into the mills themselves. So you can imagine if, if there wasn't a lot of airflow going through these multi-stage hammer mill, what would happen is a lot of the air would have to go up and over the top and with it would take some of the more lighter weed seeds, the ones with a lower terminal velocity. But since the suction is quite high, that means that the chaff and weed seeds are all sucked into the mill.